So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video, this time Power Query. I'm going to show you different ways that you can just import the data that you need on your Power Query table. So either with the container word, the not container word, just the lines that you need, things like that. So let's get started. Okay, so I have downloaded a bunch of uh, Excel files from my Garmin account. So you can see activities that I've done through the year, running Google, whatever it is. And what I want is to import only the rows where I, or the days where I played golf, for example. So how do we do that? What I have done is on Power BI, I imported from folder and then extracted with Excel workbook the contents of the Excel. And then they are here on a table. You can see them below that everything is in there. Okay, so to get out the, or to find the tables and the rows where I just played golf, is actually very easy. You go to a custom column, you use a function called table, no, uh, table, um, it is here, find, Table find text, so it is it takes table as an input and then text uh, the word that you're looking for. And remember that Power Query is case sensitive, so find text. Make sure that you spell it the correct way. You put in your data column and then the word that you're looking for. In this case, it's golf, and click OK, and you will see what happens. I don't know got an error here. Oh, because it is open. Don't worry about that. Okay, so if we look into these tables, we'll see that the first table does not contain any golf activity. The second file contains a Ryan activity that has the word golf in it. And this find text function looks for um, words in the all columns. So you, you need to be aware of that. In this case, this is a mistake. I'll show you a way to fix this. Um, then we have another one that contains only golf and the other one that contains only golf. There is an error because this is open. If I close it and refresh, you'll see that it goes away. So now we have, you know, if I expand these, I'll get my mistake and then all the golf activities and I'll get also the blank. So now, if you don't want to get these empty ones, which you probably don't, what you can do is you can create a custom column if you just want to keep certain rows. If you just want to find the word and delete the other ones, you can do it here, inside in there. But otherwise, you can do here, uh, not table is empty, and then put the custom in there. And this is a true or false thing. It will tell you if a table is empty or not. So you see here, or maybe a table is empty because that's the one that we want to get rid of. So we get rid of all our empty tables and then when you expand the columns, you'll get only the stuff that you want, except for this mistake again. So if we want to force these find text to find stuff only on, um, a specific column, what we can do is go to custom column and then there is a function called uh, table select columns that where you put the have a table as an input and then you specify whatever column you want and it will take it out. So you go to table select columns and then you grab from the original one or it doesn't matter this we shouldn't have it and then we grab the first column, which is the one that contains the activity type where we want it to search on. So, column one. And then you'll see that here is just returning the first column. If you look at the table here, it has like a ton of columns. We just wanted to search in here, and this is exactly what we got. And now we can do a search on um, a fine text in. Uh, in here to make sure that it just finds text on the correct place. So you could do a table find text and then you do 
this one is with that one. We put the text there, golf, close the parentheses. And then here we should have just the columns that have golf. You can see them. So this doesn't have it, this doesn't have it. And then we do the same thing. We do um, table is empty. Right? And now we can say, okay, these two are empty. So I just want to have the ones that are true. And then you have the search in here. You would do the search again. And when you expand these, you can remove the columns, expand these, and then you'll get only the golf activities, right? So this is actually quite cool. So I hope this was useful to uh, allow you to find to keep just the rows that you want to find words on tables and to eliminate the tables that you don't want. Complete tables, empty tables, tables that does not contain a word. I mean, this is really useful. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again on Thursday and on Wednesday in Charticulator. I have a Charticulator video prepared for you. So see you tomorrow if you are following me on Curva Data Labs. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.